Hello there, it's Pastor Schmidt, <clears throat> and it is April 7th, I believe, and it is Friday, and it is not just any Friday, it is Good Friday. As you can see by the cross on the altar, we've got the black on there, black symbolizing death. Today has an interesting name, Good Friday, but we're focusing on death. It's Good Friday because Jesus' death is really good for us. It rescues us from our sins, fulfills God's demand for a sacrifice. We should be up there, but Jesus goes in our place. He is the Lamb that takes away the sin of the world, all of your sins, all of mine. I would like to read to you Isaiah chapter 53. The whole chapter. This is Isaiah about 700 years before any of this happens. He's talking about it because he wants people to know what the Messiah had, was truly going to come to do. He wasn't going to come to lead them into political and financial freedom and prosperity. The Messiah was coming to lead them out of their sins and into heaven. So, let us listen to Isaiah 53. Who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering, like one from whom men hide their faces. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And who can speak of his descendants? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was stricken. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and to cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life a guilt offering, he will see his offering and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of light and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgression, transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. It's all about Jesus, and it's all about you and me and what he did for us, the transgressors. You want to hear more about that and be comforted by what the cross has done for you? Then you come to church tonight, 630, Our Savior Lutheran Church. I look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.